Well, Kane, I'm going to tell you where all the cardboard boxes are. <laughs> outside your house. They're outside my house. <laughs> I get like an Amazon delivery every day. These dudes showing up at like four o'clock in the morning now. Like they do overnight delivery. I got my, my security cameras are going off. I'm about to like shoot somebody outside. It's like, oh, oh, because when the truck backs up, it makes a weird like white noise sound. It's like, it's not the traditional beeping sound. It's like, oh, weird. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you and, mean. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm about to like, you know, light this guy up and it's, like, oh, <laughs> it's Amazon out there at 4 30 in the morning. But, um, yeah, I get so many Amazon deliveries. I got, uh, I'm a recycling center over here. So, <laughs> hey, uh, America, if you need cardboard boxes, hit me up. I got a whole stack. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a supply chain shortage. It's just to stop filing. <laughs> no, shit. I started this shortage right now. <laughs> and that bubble pop stuff, I got so much bubble pop. I could, like, I could, uh, I could build one hell of a raft with that shit. Right? Like, <laughs> um, oh, what's dear. crazy is I, I've been getting a lot of my uh, Amazon packages lately through UPS. And uh, oh. I talk. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'll do, I'll, that's surprising. It's not because I feel like Amazon's in the greatest spot in the world starting a delivery company because whenever their own internal infrastructure gets taxed, they can just dump it off on UPS, FedEx, or a postal service. Mm, and they're grateful to get it. So they don't have to like over invest on planes and cars and equipment and people. They can slowly grow their delivery and transportation business. And then when they get overloaded, they can just dump it on somebody else. That's got to be the greatest feeling in the world when you're trying to build a business. Um, yeah, if we ever get over capacity, just dump it off on UPS, cause them harm. <laughs> like, mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. What what is it running out? I, I just saw they were dumping like uh, the uh, containers that come off a of ship. They're like dumping them in the streets of uh, California and shit because they got nowhere to put them. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it seems to be that container board, corrugated cardboard, packaging materials, basically all of it is uh, is scarce right now. Uh, Amazon's been stockpiling it since the beginning of the year, so they seem to be okay. But what does it mean for like all the other retailers? Well, let me think about this for a moment. What is cardboard made out of? Paper. Where does paper come from? <laughs> And trees. What else is made from trees? Wood. I mean, trees are wood. <laughs> Firewood. <I> think... <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper, dude. Toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, true. True. <laughs> like I don't, like, I don't know if you noticed, but Costco just had a thing where they were rationing supplies again. On toilet. Oh no paper. way. So I just started thinking, like, are, are we just short on you know pulp? And it's like they're trying to figure out how to balance between boxes, between paper towels, between toilet paper, all these products, paper for schools, for example. Mm. Do we not have enough wood and pulp right now? So what I'm saying is, are you expecting toilet paper Armageddon part two? It's uh, it might be coming. This is no, just the, fir yeah, the first sign of sure. it, you know? For sure. I mean, well, at least we know the cause of it now, so we uh, we can go and address it by storing the uh, the James house and grabbing all the boxes. Hey, you can take some of those boxes and turn it on <laughs> toilet paper, I guess. I don't know, recycle that shit, but I, I just what I'm saying is, if you look at the broader supply chain issues, we got problems, dude. It's Oh, yeah. We probably don't have enough people harvesting trees. We probably don't have enough people in the mills. We probably don't have enough people drive. We know there's a trucker shortage. Probably enough, not enough people driving the trucks. Um, who wants to cut down trees and you know risk your life when uh, you know all these months you could have got unemployment? It's we're over consuming. Um, we don't have enough people working. So if we don't have paper boxes, at some point we're probably going to run out of paper towels, paper for copiers, paper toilet paper. You know, shit rolls downhill, no pun intended. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the, the second order effect, right? Which would be as as the holiday season comes in, then people are expecting things to get to them in a certain amount of time. And what if these companies don't have the packaging? There's a delay. They, they wrap it in, I don't know, a plastic bag. You get it in a plastic bag, you'd be angry. You call them. Like the, There's a customer service element to this. It's going to be a bit difficult to address. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people want to do online shopping, right? So it's how, how are you, mm-hmm. how are you gonna do that? You ain't got no boxes. And uh, what about wrapping paper? Are we not gonna have wrapping paper? Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, shit. I wrapped gifts in duct tape before. It doesn't be an asshole. <laughs> you know? I did like a layer of duct tape, and then like a layer of uh, like packaging tape. And I think one time I put like a thin piece of tin around it, so if they tried to cut it through all the tape with a knife, they would hit the tin. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it took him like 40 minutes to get this thing open. I went straight asshole on that one, but, you know. Might be an interesting Christmas. You're going to be wrapping stuff in, like, pillowcases. All right, uh, yeah. yeah. Hold out the pillowcase or gift bag, right? <laughs> well, we can't have gift bags. Those take yeah. paper, too. What about Christmas cards? What about the, the cardboard box that your, like, cereal goes in at the store? Wow. Yeah, that's it. A- how Everything's going to be get, just plastic bags. How are you going to get your Ben and Jerry's or Hagen dazs when you don't have like the packaging? Think about it. everything in the food store has got some kind of packaging. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's what I'm saying. Like this is, it's, you hope we don't get out of control, but if this thing gets out of control, it affects so much shit that no one's thinking about. Yeah. <sighs> Stock up. <laughs> on boxes. Yeah. Yeah, stock up on everything, man. It's uh, it's the everything shortage now. It's uh, yeah, it's true. They never tell you how it's going to get better. I I don't think anybody knows. That's my concern. <laughs> how? Here's the fucked up part. We paid all these people, and then they stayed home. I bet they're going to end up having to pay people to go back to work. Yeah. So you had a bunch of people who lived off the government. Spent money, overconsumed, and caused this problem, and then they're going to benefit again by getting paid probably more money to go back to fucking work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How ass backwards is this world right now? <laughs> oh, oh my dear. god! Just I don't yeah. know. Like, uh, I, I saw an ad somewhere that they were trying to pay truck drivers a hundred thousand dollars out in California. Wow. Just trying to get, just trying to get people to come back to work. Now we know, Kane. That's going to get passed on to the shipping cost, which is going to get passed on to the price of your product, which means inflation is going to continue for a while. Um, propane ga- propane's up, natural gas is up, diesel's up, gas is up, which means the price of everything that is manufactured and or transported with some kind of energy is going up. Let's talk about long-term headwinds. This is far more significant than corrugated packaging. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think what you said there is really profound. Like the idea that this is going to stick around for a while, right? Like salaries are not one of those things that people are going to give up. Once they, once a trucker gets a hundred thousand, you know, hell has to freeze over before anybody like takes fifty k again after that. So those costs are going to be there for forever until kind of the entire supply chain absorbs that cost. It'll eventually absorb it. It's just how long. How long? Um. You know, at the end of the day, no one really wins. They might get a bigger salary, but by the time everything gets adjusted, they're right back where they started. You're yeah. making a hundred thousand, but your McDonald's combo is sixteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, and it's wrapped in plastic bag. Yeah, you're not even gonna. The Big Mac's not coming in a box anymore, Playboy. Um, <laughs> you're getting wax paper. That's it. That's in paper too. You might not yeah. even get that. Like it's no, it's coming straight out of the hand of the server. Gonna like they're gonna have it on a spatula and they're just gonna like stick it out the window, like you know, <laughs> yeah. grab it. Um, I mean, that's fine by me. I eat and drive anyways. I might as well just hand me the fucking thing. I'll start eating it right now. I don't care. I don't know. I just I continue to see more cracks and I see, I don't see any solutions. I don't see, you know, I feel like Trump started it. It continued on Biden's watch. Maybe even gotten worse. I got two presidents to blame from two different parties. No one's got a solution right now on either side of Congress. Um, they're worried about getting an infrastructure bill passed, which is probably going to only make the situation worse. Kane, how the fuck are we going to do an infrastructure bill when we can't even get people to go to work right now? Who's going to build the fucking roads? Yeah, that's such like a good I don't, point. It's, just, it's bonkers, man. Like, we are so focused on the wrong shit right now. And... Uh, over here looking like clowns. It's uh, I, I couldn't even get bacon at uh, Meyer one day. Like fucking bacon was sold out. And I told the shopper like, "Can I get you know, give me some links?" 
Well, they sold out of sausage. Sold out of sausage. Like, what the fuck do they have down there right now? And they're like, oh, sorry, yeah. inventory is so low here. It's like, would you like some turkey bacon? And I'm like, you know who you're talking to right now? Oh, that's sacrilege. Yeah. I don't say that. Turkey bacon? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know? It's a. Uh, Dear. You know, oh, man. How about I live in a world where all we got is turkey bacon, dude? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or the, uh, the fake meats, the impossible meats. Hey, Your choice is turkey, bacon, or impossible meat. Hey, I, I think that's where the world's going at this point. They want you to eat all that <laughs> shit. It's like, um, they get mad if you eat like GMO and like all this fake chemical stuff. And they're like, hey, let's eat meat growing in a lab. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't know. You, you sir, switched up quick. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Monsanto corn is bad, but I'll eat this meat that was growing in a Petri dish. <laughs> uh, all right. Like, all right. Oh man, I don't. Interesting times. Yeah, I just I just started thinking like you know your cereal box, cardboard. How many things you buy from the grocery store come in cardboard? Um, milk cartons, some kind of cardboard. What happens if you run out of cardboard? Yeah, it would be wild. What like worst case scenario? Would they take all the books that are printed and then repurpose all those? Do you start getting your milk in glass jars again? I mean, that's probably possible. Is it any faster yeah. to make make glass? I mean, are we sitting around on a pile of glass somewhere? More <laughs> plastic, which you know, just what the world needs—more fucking plastic, right? And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like this article just got me thinking about how many things when you think about cardboard. Yeah, because to me, it's not okay. It's not the boxes. It, to me, it's probably a raw material issue. It's some it's yeah. a wood pulp. It's some ingredient that goes in to make the cardboard. There's something somewhere that is screwed up, you know. And if it is the pulp, then we're really screwed because that affects every all paper related products from toilet paper to your milk carton. That's concerning. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, I mean, I over here it says like uh, fiber, recovered fiber, petroleum derivatives, adhesive chemicals, like it. it Literally, it could be everything. But, you know, good luck fixing that problem. I get concerned when, like, we can, we, you could force people to go back to work. Like, if you had to, they would find some, you never beat the government. You know, the government always wins. Like, it's somehow make your ass go back to work. But when you have a raw material issue, that concerns me. Because now it's not even a labor issue anymore. It's saying we don't have the actual supplies for the manufacturing process. That is what scares me. Uh, mm. Yeah. You know, there was one point during the pandemic where they were saying a lot of our chemicals that um, we use in our water sanitation plants comes from Asia. But there was concern oh. that there wasn't enough people working over there because of the outbreak that, and then the shipping issues that we wouldn't get enough chemicals over here for our water treatment plants. It's like, do people think about this shit and how intertwined we are globally mm -hmm. that if they just don't happen to, you know, bring those cargo ships of chemicals in and we can't treat our water, then what? Yeah, okay, there's not enough bottled bottle water out there to fix that issue. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, anytime I see a you know, like fundamental something like raw materials um the kind of the batch chemicals you need like when there's a shortage of that stuff is that's when i start getting concerned yeah so i'll keep an eye on it but for now i want to keep stockpiling boxes because this might be the boxes might be the new toilet paper so oh, what if they're like the next uh they're the next bitcoin people bid like, crazy amounts for your boxes Dude, maybe I could go on Craigslist and say, man, 10 bucks a box. What do you want to do? Yeah. Yep. Well, give you 10 boxes. Some... I'll give you five for 45 or something, right? <laughs> um, some nice pocket money. Throw in a pile. Throw in a thing of masking tape for you know, an extra 10 bucks. Right. <laughs> hey, look, man, you want to, you want your kids to be able to unwrap something or not? What do you want to do? <laughs> you want to ruin the kids' Christmas right now? Here's, here's, here's some wrapping paper, here's some tape, here's a box. You know, 75 bucks. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I don't know. We'll keep an eye on this one. Maybe we'll do another episode. I don't do a follow up. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one.